Hi guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Today we're going to replace this Ampak Firefinder to an F220 Petronics. So let's see what's inside this fire panel. So this Ampak Firefinder, yeah. it has a one look card and a conventional module. It has two amplifiers. Brigade card, the power supply, the batteries, the distribution fuses, and code red. Okay, it also has its mechanical ventilation. So we have two amplifiers, that means we require a audio distribution board for the new one. And all of this will be gone. And then this is one day job and we have to put everything up and running in one day. Now these are the fan control modules, fan control relays. So what we're going to do is do an initial testing with one of my assistant, one of my assistant upstairs and he's doing all the manual testing while I'm here on site. So we, we talk by radio. I want to figure out which one is start and which one is stop. If there is a fire trip, that's when I want to sort it out as well. Okay. This is our second day of work. So yesterday we have finished some of the jobs. So if you can see here, this is now the do the fire panel from Firefinder up to an F220 Petronics. So the ASE, so we still have a lot of things to do. For example, the, you see the ASE there? Okay, I was able to put it inside, I have space. I found out that this ASE code red is only uh, mounted by a velcro and see this uh this is now the uh, what i call this the all the conventional module are connected here and my occupant warning system is not hooked up yet because we're still looking for the end of line assist or for the last speaker of two split line that's my audio distribution board and then batteries are okay and we still have to sort out the mechanical ventilation system as well as the duct probe so it's not that easy so hopefully today we're going to finish the job okay not everything goes in perfect for example right now the speaker we have only two lines two lines of speaker i found out that the speaker no the existing end of line resistor is compatible with the petronics distribution audio distribution board so we don't need to change the end of line resistor we already find the end of line resistor on the roof one of one of the cable series on the roof the only problem is every time i connect that end of line resistor i having a short circuit fault so what's the problem it looks like there's something wrong with that end existing end of line resistor. I mean the end of line resistor that came here. So right now I have an open circuit fault. That open circuit fault is because I removed the end of line resistor. So let's see if I replace that end of line with another end of line. Hopefully that will clear. We found the problem. The problem is the end of line resistor that is connected there okay when they when we bought this and purchases all of them are 47k 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 the other one is 10k 
So when I remove it and use that and connect it there, all of a sudden I got a short circuit fault. So 10K. Now, why did I know? Because I have the exact number of 10K that on the on the conventional module and I have one extra 10K. So where did it came from? Of course, from there. All right, all good. Look, no open circuit and no short circuit fault. For the end of line resistor of Petronics conventional module 10K, the old uh, ampak is 3K2 or 3.2K. We change all the end of line resistor to match what is required in here and we were able to find all the end of line because there's only one detector for zone in this building so level 1, level 2, level 3 up to level 11 so that is a bonus one detector every level another problem that came up is that earth fault it's intermittent on and off and I tried to search where's that problem coming from it, uh, right now it's on and then later on it switch off so that's an intermittent earth fault earth fault was cleared it coming from a loop this is a loop loop number two so every time i plug it in the earth fault come up some of the detectors and modules in loop two are not replaced yet so probably that's the reason behind that okay so we're going to disconnect loop number two for a while until we replace everything in this loop. We have completed relocating the alarm signaling equipment. See how it looks. And then there's the antenna. And then there's your code red. This is removable. There's only a Velcro inside it. For the ASE, it monitors. This one is isolation. This one is fire or fire alarm activation, and the other one is fault. So because of the new standard, we don't monitor, there's no provision for an isolation output. So I just connected them by a terminal, like a eye connector. So it doesn't do anything. Now that's the alarm, and then, then the fault. Temporarily, I removed the fault. It's normally open because I have multiple faults here in the system that I need to clear. And look at the ASE, there's no fault in it. It's still on the test mode, okay? There are few more faults that need to fix, like the duct probes. We need to change the end of line. sub pipe panel C, it has a fault. Looks like it was not done well. The pressure switch and the monitor and the one detector in the main switch room. We are now in the sprinkler valve room. We're going to replace that Firefinder input-output modules to monitor our sprinkler pressure switch alarm the uh, tamper switch as well as the hydrant diesel engine run so that means if I, that engine runs I should have my ventilation running as well and these are my input modules uh, one is, is sprinkler alarm activation the other one is tamper switch and this one input for pump run that hydrant diesel pump run there's no polarity on that one. So this is the challenging part, fan controls. Right now, our challenge is two magnetic contactor in one fan relay. And this one is, this one is a car park supply fan. This is the car park exhaust fan. And then these modules, we're going to retire those modules. One of them is spare, it's never been used. And this one is a fan run, fan stop product supply fan. And this is for 
the exhaust fan. We're going to introduce another uh, relay here for monitoring of this exhaust fan because this monitoring does not work. So what I'm going to do is buy a 24 volts AC relay. So in case that relay activates, that means we have a fan run in this particular exhaust. Okay, let's do it. Nearly finished. There are lots of challenges in this one, especially the fan controls and fan relays. Uh, that's already been sorted out. And I have two new uh, input here. That is for the hydrant diesel pump. If the hydrant diesel pump, I want the ventilation system to run as well. And everything looks well. You see, in an F220, you don't need the laptop, but i used to it. So I still have my cables here. Uh, normally, you just get your USB plug in the laptop and then you can upload it here using a USB. All right, I hope uh, you learned something from this video. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. This is Elmer, your fire protection guy.